Hello everyone, today is Saturday, August the 3rd, 2024, and welcome back to another weather video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Tropical Depression 4, the newest storm that will soon to be on the hurricane list. We have breaking news right here. This is the new tropical, um, the hurricane, this is the new track. I'm sorry, it's early in the morning. This is the new track of Tropical, soon to be Tropical Storm Debbie, as you can see on your screen. We, we do have Tropical Storm watches for the Florida Keys. For much of the state of Florida, we have Tropical Storm um, warnings for much of Western Florida. And then we have Hurricane watches for the Florida Bend, uh, Big Bend area. Right now, it is a Tropical Depression, and it will continue to be a Tropical Depression um, until we get into... Sunday morning, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, it will become a tropical storm. And it will continue to be a tropical storm as we get into Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and then sometime on early Monday morning, um, 8 a.m., right as you go to work on Monday, um, this will make landfall into the big bend of Florida as a tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane. But we'll see as we get later on into the video. It will continue to be um, maybe be a hurricane, maybe weak into a tropical storm as we get into Monday evening, Monday night. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see how it takes literally takes a whole day for it to move from South Georgia back into the Atlantic Ocean as we get into early Wednesday morning. And then you can see this big cone right here, this big uncertainty. You see those little patched areas. That's the uncertainty of the forecast. Um, as we get into Thursday morning, just south of Charleston, South Carolina. So we do not um, know if it's going to hit South Carolina or North Carolina. We'll have to see in the foreseeable future. But right now, Florida looks like um, it's going to be getting hit first, obviously, with the storm. Uh, as we get into sometime early Monday morning. So that's literally two days from now. It will be impacting Florida. Um, in terms of who will see the tropical storm force winds, um, we do have, this is literally just new information from the National uh, Hurricane Center. It looks like they've weakened the tropical storm force wind gusts, um, well, wind speeds, because I remember... A couple hours ago, the 8 a.m. update, it looked like it was um, the tropical storm force winds. It looked like it was very bullish, but now it's a little bit calmer. So we still have a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds into the big bend of Florida. But over here near the Georgia coast, South Carolina coast, it did, um, the 8 a.m. update, it did look like this is the 8 a.m. update. It says 8 a.m. I think this is the 8 a.m. update because I literally checked this a couple minutes ago and it looked like it was very stronger than this. So, oh, this is the preliminary one. So we have 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds into the Florida Big Bend area. And then it looks like we might see tropical storm force winds. Obviously, it's not a lot because the storm is still out here in Cuba and in the Caribbean, about to move into the Gulf of Mexico. But as we get into the next couple of days, this area, the Georgia, South Carolina coast, will start seeing bigger tropical storm wind speed probabilities. In terms of flooding, not flooding, in terms of rain, we will see a lot of rain. With this system, even though it's it's going to be a tropical storm, we're still going to see a lot of rain with the system, especially as we get into the South Carolina, Georgia coastline. You can literally see 8 to 12 inches of rain for a good, pretty much the entire coast of South Carolina. We'll see 8 to 12 inches of rain, which that's a lot of rain for that this area. Also into... Portions of the Georgia coastline that does include Savannah, Tybee Island, Hilton Head, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, just to the south of Wilmington, we'll see anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rain, which that is a lot of rain for that area. So obviously there's going to be flooding um, 
occurring near the South Carolina coastline and the Georgia coastline. And then we have back here into Florida, we have, let me see, I can't see that. That's four to six inches of rain into the Tampa area. Looks like near Clearwater, we might see a little bit more rain over there near Clearwater, um, anywhere from eight to 12 inches of rain. So same thing for the South Carolina coastline, the Georgia coastline, the same potential rainfall into the Clearwater area. And then near the Big Bend area where the storm will be making landfall in early Monday morning, we'll see anywhere from eight to 12 inches of rain. So yes, there will be flooding. As you can see in the next frame, there will be flooding over the next couple of days with this system, um, especially into the Georgia, Southeast Georgia, the South Carolina coastline, we'll see um, some moderate chance, at least a 40% chance of flooding, um, especially in Charleston where it floods a lot, um, they will definitely be seeing flooding with this storm because like, um, let me go back to the here. Let me go back to the forecast. As you can see, this storm literally takes a whole day to move from one space to another. So obviously there's going to be flooding with this storm because it's not moving fast. It's slowing down at particular points. And literally it's going to take two days from it to get from Southeast, the center of the storm to get from Southeast Georgia all the way into the Charleston area. So obviously there's going to be flooding with this particular storm. So let's move on to the models, the model forecast with this storm. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, southeastern U.S. Okay, so here is okay, my phone. Here is the GFS model for this particular storm. As we get into the rest of Saturday, let me move it up a little bit so you can see the times. So we're at 8 p.m. Saturday evening. So as we get into later on tonight, into tomorrow, you can see the storm is, um, the air just cut on. So if you hear the air, that's just, that's the air. Um, as you can see, the, the storm is making landfall, approaching landfall as we get into Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Um, according to the GF, GFS model, looks like it's going to be making landfall earlier at 2 a.m. Monday morning, early Monday morning into Florida. And then by the time we get into Monday afternoon, the storm will start to impact Georgia and South Carolina as a tropical storm. And then as we get into Tuesday morning, Tuesday um, afternoon, you can see it moving towards the South Carolina coast. Looks like it's just to the southwest, sorry, southeast of Hilton Head. Um, and it looks like it's literally just moving around just skirting around staying in the same area which is just like the national hurricane center's forecast staying in the same area just making a lot of flood and a lot of storm surge into the georgia south carolina coast and then it says it's going to make landfall according to the gfs sometime thursday morning 8 a.m thursday morning into the georgia south carolina border so around hilton head savannah and then it looks like it's going to move into um, the Savannah River area of Georgia and South Carolina as we get into Friday morning. And then we'll move on and off um, the coast as we get into Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, late Saturday at, um, night. So that is the GFS model of the storm. The European model, however, is very different than the GFS model. So as we get into, this is um, earlier today. So as we get into Sunday afternoon, it looks like the GFS model is a little bit slower than the, I mean, the European model is a little bit slower than the GFS model. Cause as we see, we see 2 p.m., 8 p.m. making land, um, that landfall. Looks like it's just, it's very weak. The European model is very weak, is weaker than the GFS model because as you can see, this is a 10, um, 1002 millibar low pressure system. So that's like a tropical depression, maybe a low end tropical storm. 
But according to the GFS, this is um, the millibars were in the 900s. So that means that it was strengthening. So this storm looks like it's going to make landfall sometime Monday morning into early Monday afternoon. And then it's moving into the Georgia, South Carolina coastline as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday. And it looks like it's strengthening, as you can see. It looks like it's strengthening as we get into Tuesday night. But that's how far um, the European goes, as you can see. That's how far the model goes all the way until 8 p.m. Um, Tuesday night. And you can see it's literally right off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. So that is the European model. That's the GFS model, the ICOM model, which I've seen the ICOM model. Um, and it's a little, little bit bullish. Like it's a little bit aggressive in terms of the strength of the storm. So let's see the ICOM model as we get into Sunday. Tomorrow, you can see it's moving um, up the coast of the west coast of Florida as we get into Monday morning, early Monday morning. You can see it's just like the European model, very weak, just a 1,000 millibar low pressure system. And then it's moving into Georgia um, South Georgia, as we get into early Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoons, just off the coast of South Carolina. And it looks like it's strengthening. As you can see, it goes from a 984 millibar low pressure system to a 980. So it is continuing to strengthen as it goes up the coast of South Carolina as we get into Wednesday evening. And then it goes out as far as Thursday morning at 2 a.m. Thursday morning. And it's literally right off the coast of North Carolina. So we got to keep our eye out on this storm. Let's look at a couple um, hurricane models with this storm. Okay, it's a little bit too far out. So this is the HWRF model. So this is one of the hurricane models that um, that is in use right here. So this is 11 a.m. As you can see, there's a time right here, 11 a.m. today. Um, it's moving through the Florida Keys. You can see there's South Florida right there, Southwest Florida. This is a Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon. It's approaching the big bend, the big bend. I cannot pronounce that. The big bend of Florida. And then it makes landfall sometime into Monday early Monday morning. So same thing as the GFS It's making landfall sometime Monday morning into the big bend of Florida as a 984 millibar low pressure system. And then the HWRF model is a little bit to the west, far west than the actual forecast from the National Hurricane Center. So the national, sorry, the HWRF model is in southwest Georgia compared to the National Hurricane Center forecast, says it's moving toward uh, southeastern Georgia. So as we get into Monday night, Tuesday morning, looks like it's moving into northern Georgia. And then it literally just hangs around, literally just hangs around um, as a 1,000 millibar low pressure system. And then it moves into, just hangs around. Like that's, that's literally what it is, just hanging around. Um, according to this hurricane model. But we do know that this storm will, according to the National Hurricane Center, we do know that this storm will affect Western Florida. As we can see, we have warnings here. It will make landfall. Uh, all the models that are saying that it will make landfall into the big bend of Florida as either a tropical storm or hurricane. And then it says that it will linger all the model says it will linger and take days for it to just move up the coast of south carolina and georgia so if you live in those areas that i just said western florida the coast of georgia south carolina north carolina you need to be on lookout for this storm as we get into the next couple of days of the upcoming week i know here in south carolina Next week is the first week of school, so I don't know how school is going to go. Are they going to cancel school? They're going to do it virtually. I don't know because next week is the first day of school. Can you believe it? Like, we're literally, 
it's early August and we're already going back to school. Well, I'm not, but the kids um, in my state are already going back to school next week. It's just this summer has went by so fast, like in a blur, I'm about to be going back to college in two weeks. So it's just, it's crazy how this summer has flown by, but I don't know what they're going to do with the school situation in terms of this storm. Um, are they going to cancel school? Are they going to move it virtually? I don't know. We'll have to see as we get into the rest of the weekend to early next week. So please be on the lookout for tropical, soon to be tropical storm Debbie. This storm looks like it's going to be the talk of the town in terms of the weather world for the next couple of days. Thank you all for watching this video for today. Please like subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. Be safe and stay tuned for more information in the coming days from my channel. Thank you all and have a great rest of your Saturday. Peace.